Mark, thank you. Ask a college-bound high school student, what's your GPA? And they might respond, is it three or a four point something or even a five? Wow. All those A's and B's may not make the grade, though, when it comes to how colleges calculate academic achievement. Even high school class credits can be dropped from the admission process. Joining us with crucial information is Dr. Cynthia Colon, author of the book Tips, Tales, and Truths for Teens. A former college admissions officer and private counselor shares real stories and candid advice to plan to apply for college. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you. Thank I'm going to be paying attention because yeah. <laughs> I've got a 16 year old right Frank's now. Frank's taking right. notes. <laughs> yeah, um, he is. I, I, one would assume that your high school GPA right. would hold the same for college admissions, but that's not the case. That's not completely the case. And specifically today, we're talking about UC and Cal States. They have a particular way of calculating the GPA. And most students are surprised to learn that one, ninth grade grades do not count in that calculation. Mm. At all. At all. Wow. And number two, the pluses and the minuses for the UCs and Cal States also do not count. Okay. So for the most part, that's good news yeah. for most students, right? Because freshman year, you should be building confidence, so you might get extra, few extra Bs mm -hmm. or Cs. And in the UC system and the Cal State system, that's going to be okay. So that's the good news. I'm not sure I believe it, but okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll take your word for it. And, and just one more thing on that, weighted versus non-weighted, because it, you know, it, it it seemed that the advice that we were getting with, for our first son was take the honors classes, take the AP right. courses, and then, you know, if you get a B in that, your GPA goes down for the, for one GPA. Okay. Explain so, that. So, um, when we talk about honors courses, and not all honors courses are created equal. Again, the same thing with UC and the Cal States. You're going to take some of those honors courses as freshmen, sophomores, your biology, your algebra one, your Spanish one level, mm -hmm. and that you're going to see those honors courses and that extra bump in your GPA for the high school. Mm -hmm. But those courses are not approved honors courses for the UC Cal State. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get that extra bump later uh, with the UCs. You're going to get them for the for the upper level courses, the chemistry, the third year in, in languages. So it does count in terms of that weighted, yeah. um, but not all honors courses are created equal. So you want to be cognizant of that. Okay. Physical education, health, religious studies, <laughs> those sometimes are used to boost, you know, your class credits so how can they be empty hours towards college admissions? So uh, this is PE and health uh, and religion are sometimes required courses mm -hmm. for the high school that you're, that you're involved in. And uh, so obviously you need to take those. But again, those don't count towards mm -hmm. that GPA. So if all of, or if most of your A's are in those courses, you, you want to check your GPA sooner rather than later, just so you know what you're entering the college application process with. So, so that you, you know, so you're not yeah. in for a surprise because you're going to be in for a little bit of a shock yeah. if most of your A's are in those courses. Okay. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. Yeah. Uh, which grades are counted in the UC Cal State GPA? Which specific ones? So, specifically, sophomore year, junior year, and I know you're taking notes. <laughs> He's got year. a junior. Right. Uh, sophomore uh -huh. year, junior year, and then summer after ninth, after tenth, and after eleventh. Okay, so okay. notice I didn't say freshman year, which we've already talked about, mm -hmm. and I also yeah. didn't say senior year. Yeah. Mm. So senior year, when you're applying to the UCs and Cal States, which is due November 30th, you don't have grades yet. So they'll see your curriculum, but they're not going to see your grades, oh. right? So those are the grades. The second point I want to mention is it is in seven subject areas. So English, math, science, social studies, English other than uh, language other than English, visual and performing arts, and electives. Those yeah. are the seven subject areas known as the A to G requirements. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sure many parents and, and some students right now go, going, well, how will I know what my GPA is then, <laughs> considering the information you just gave us? Is there a way that, that they can find just out? Just get A's. I know, just yeah, get just A's. Yeah, just get A's. Right? Okay, there's that. So there's two things that, that you want to know. You want to know what is your A to G list. That's how you're going to be able, you need your GPA, uh, your transcript, and you need a, your A through G list. And on my website, www.drcynthiacolon.com, mm -hmm. I have two videos. So you click on resources and then you click on UC Cal States and it'll I'll show you, I'll walk you through how to find your A to G list and I'll walk you through how to determine your GPA. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what you need to know. And let me just tell you just a little secret. The, the easiest way, it's not easy, but an easier way to get into UCLA or to Cal Berkeley, which are impossible to get into, <laughs> go to junior college for a year, <laughs> get great Save your money. grades, and then transfer. 
it's e right. Is it easier to get in, at, at, in as a transfer student? Well, like like anything, you, you know, you're, you're talking about UCLA and Berkeley. Yeah. Those are going to be difficult to get in, no matter what. Right. So I always say, you know, your your kid better than anyone. So if they're going to go to that ju uh, junior mm -hmm. college and make the best of it and get those good grades, then that might be a great way of one saving some money yeah. and and two really being the best applicant you can be. Mm. So. Great information this morning. The book available at Amazon.com. And you can also follow, do, follow Dr. Cologne on social media and learn more at her website, tipstalestruths.com. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for making me all nervous. <laughs>